Oh hey, welcome. We've got a lot to do today. We have about 20 of these IKEA bags full of stuff that we've bought at the thrift on the course of making all the thrifting videos that you guys watch every day. We've got to get a lot of it priced to put in our antique malls. So this is going to be a kind of pricing organizing video. I don't know. We're just, we got to get work done. So stick around. Do you guys remember on an episode, what was it, a week, two ago, we brought home several boxes of jewel cases. So handy. This is about the third stack of loose games. This is somebody's whole Xbox collection that I brought home from the Goodwill bins ages ago. They're all gonna get individually priced. But I like using these for our antique malls because I can tape them up and uh, works a little bit better than the paper sleeve for theft. People don't want to cram this in their pocket. Uh, so that's good. I've used a whole box of these. Uh, also, another episode recently I brought this home. DVD CRT combo. I didn't test it at the bins because I really just honestly was going to trust that it worked. Uh, give me a DVD to throw in there. Part of me wants to build a shelf right there <laughs> and just leave it here by my work desk. Well, okay. How's it look on camera? I might actually keep this one and sell my other one. I think it's a little bit nicer of a picture. Play all. You want to just stop watching Lord of the Rings and watch Dragon Ball? Mm, no. <laughs> G -G. We have completed the Lord of the Rings trilogy almost in way less than 24 hours. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. We, uh, we watched most of the first two last night and now we're watching the third one. And uh, we're gonna move on to The Hobbit next. But we've gotten a lot done. Uh, I think we've priced almost 200 video games. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute when we get them completely done. Your fingers hurt? They're sticky right now. I think I can count them by how many of these cases I've used. I've used pretty much a whole hundred pack and half of another, so we're getting there. My eyes are crying. Because Lord of the Rings is over, but it's all right. On to The Hobbit. Are you ready for 20 more hours? <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready for some bread truck adventure? I miss driving this thing. Every time I get in it, I'm like, yes. It's just 100 and something degrees though, so kind of sucks, but bread truck adventures, you gotta put up with it. We stopped to get gas. Do you see what I see? Blizzard, Blizzard, go get us a Blizzard. Ooh. I want inside? No, it's a little trailer thing. Oh. Go get us one. Okay. What? Gas sucks in this thing, man. It sucks. Go, 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 go. I don't know, surprise me. When was the last time we had an ice cream? Oh, I don't remember. It's been a while. This takes me back to like the carnival. I got a gummy frog. I did too, but I dropped mine on the ground instantly. <laughs> It's weird how cold it feels. It's so hot out right now that it makes this cold feel strange. We're gonna be here a while, aren't we? Is my mouth blue? Very blue. <laughs> no regret. You barely look like you started. I've just been driving up here going. <laughs> Same, I got the spoon out, but it's really just an accessory at this point. It's for knocking it back so it doesn't fall. I got. I got ice in my Crocs. <laughs> How your toesies feel? It's my heel. Oh. <laughs> I'm wearing my closed toes Crocs. I didn't really. You got closed toe Crocs and open toe Crocs now. How do you feel about that? Can't really think about anything other than my cold teeth. I feel so much better though. I actually like. It cooled me down yeah, a bit. Yeah, it don't feel so hot. I know, this is wonderful. I could eat a whole another one of those ices right now. Uh, uh. Hello, Mr. Cart.
This is not a whole lot to go in here, but it's enough. Uh, our next stop, I think we have the most. But it doesn't look too bad, considering we haven't been here in a couple weeks. I'm really shocked how clean and nice it looks in here. I forgot we put in that shelf last time we were here. Yeah, it looks better, doesn't it? It does. I didn't bring the tools to do this today, but I'd like to move that down there, fill it with more nerve, put more bookcases in here, because we got them. As you saw, we got three more in the car. We got this bad boy stocked up all right. I've just not been buying enough Nerf guns to stock three booths, so I'm slowing them down here, putting most of our Nerf guns at another location. And uh, w once I get that done and get those out of here, I'm gonna do what I said and pretty much fill this out with shelves. And it'll just be a, a yellow replication of my game room at home. But uh, let's move on. I don't, we weren't gonna do Goodwill today because we got so much to do today, but after traffic and snow cones and shenanigans, uh, I don't think we're gonna make it to our last booth today before it closes, so we might as well go to a Goodwill while we're over here. Plus, the Goodwill's right here. It's kind of restocking time, so maybe we'll get lucky. Someone posted a picture in our Discord the other day, which you should go join, link in the video's description, but they posted a picture the other day of their new box here at Armadillo, and it looks like they set a trap for me. $17, not a bad price. Yeah. I'm gonna think about it. Actually, I need to go home and look. I think I already have him, but I don't remember. I just bought this game too, or else I'd probably be getting that. Sweet. Oh, bro. It's awesome. I like those Panthers. It's Gollum. I just watched all three Lord of the Rings movies back to back in under 24 hours. Oh, cool. Cassie, thanks for sharing. This is also very tempting though. I don't think I'm gonna bite a whole box of Vanguard cards for 20 bucks, which is probably probably cheap. I'm not the uh, most knowledgeable on these cards, but I know they're not the easiest thing to find. In all my days of thrifting, I've only brought home a small stack, maybe that big, from the bins once. And I want them. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'm quite excited about this Goodwill. I hope it doesn't let me down. We've had some good times here, particularly with video games. At least we did in a lockbox before, before COVID. So, fingers crossed. What are you looking for? Brass dolls. Brass dolls? I just want to go home with anything. The video games have moved. Eight bucks. Whoa. Okay, despite the fact that I said that I'm gonna look at jeans and for bread stalls, I'm gonna start in the dish section because that's what I do. Starting in the glass baking section, see if we can find any Pyrex. However, Disclaimer, this Goodwill marks up Pyrex, cording wear, anything vintage, very expensive. So I'm not expecting much. I like this partition plate. Nothing special, 849. It's a, it's a great way to start. I see a little uh, Pyrex glass set. The biggest bowl is 949 and they are individually priced. So that's a no. Some glass plate. 949. Ooh. Oh, fire federal glass. 649. Not a great price. Not the worst, but it's not in good shape at all. It's really brown on the inside. And if you could feel it, you would agree. It's very like rough and scratchy. 
that nice glaze finish is completely gone and it's real scratched up. Oh, it's the friendship birds. Cute. $8.39. Okay. Well, looks like Hannah doesn't get anything today. I only found one video game there that I didn't have, and I saw $8.29 on it. I was like, well, that's high, but maybe they looked it up. I don't know. I looked it up, and $8 is almost exactly what it's going for on price charting. So, I don't know. I'm not going to get it, but it kind of threw me off. I haven't seen a video game here in a Goodwill on the shelf for that much in a while. Just one wrap over. This caught my eye. She's real cute. $8.49. Ooh. It looks like one of those Wheaton glasses. I don't know a ton about Wheaton glass, but uh, I just know that there's a particular bowl that is this shape that I find often that I really like. Ooh. Vintage jewelry case for go with bouncy balls in it. Wait. That was <laughs> I did not know what to expect. That's great. That was great. <laughs> Look what I found buried in the bags. $3, small stack of cards. Why not? We'll see what we get. Alrighty. Ask the bag toy well. You know what I'm looking for. I have found them here before, so that's a good start. It was funny. It was right in the beginning of me collecting them, and... Um, I found one and it was like $3.49 for a bag with one in it. And I was like, mm, I don't know if I want it. And I didn't get it. And then I came back and I was like, that was really stupid. I should have got it. I really regret it. And then I found it like hidden away somewhere. So hopefully we can repeat this. It. It's $3.49 for one. That's hilarious. I really didn't expect that. Put that over here and rescue the Yasmin. Did you find one? We found her. Very nice. Yay! It's almost all video game stuff. This booth that we're going to next is pretty much gonna be our video game booth. It's kind of the end of an era. We have amassed and resold Pez darn near since the beginning of this channel I found this massive massive three or four of these carts full of Pez and uh, we've resold them at our antique malls since and we're down to the slim pickings and I would rather use this table space for more video game stuff controllers keyboards stuff like that so Pez are out I might put them all in one giant bag and just sell them all at once what's left at another antique mall and cart full of giant garbage bag 7500 bucks something like that but this yellow table is now for basically all the aftermarket and a few first party controllers that I've amassed need to bring some signs in here that say video games video game controllers I cleared out three giant boxes at the house last night pricing all these controllers because I've had so many aftermarkets and again a few first party but mostly aftermarkets that we leave the bins with. I just can't leave them there. All right, we're all done. Uh, I'm gonna leave these last few toys and some of this My Little Pony stuff for a couple more months. Just give it time to just get out of here. Uh, and then next time we come back, I'll be replacing almost all these shelves. Uh, probably keep that one, ditch those, ditch this one and bring in the three from the van. I should do it now because we're here. 
but it would just be overkill at the moment. The problem with, with these shelves is that none of them are consistent with the shelves at the other places in that they're not the same width and stuff. So I can't just switch out these shelves with the ones that I have plenty of. If I wanted to add more shelves to this, which I need to, because look, these books are all sideways. I'd have to go buy lumber and do all that. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna wait till the time is right and put those newly acquired shelves in here. Uh, but it'll be bef it'll be until the next time that we restock here that that's really necessary because there's not quite enough here to warrant all that. These shelves still aren't full. Next time we come with another load of media this big, probably be time, but restocking done. This guy has a booth at our other antique mall and he keeps these card boxes here and he was out of them there. I'm gonna buy both of the big ones he has left here. I need them bad. Had a catch. Hey! Tell us about your Brad stall. Brad stalls or Brad stall? Singular doll. We've got a Yasmin doll here. The Toby, rest... we need the light. <laughs> Bud, you want to see my doll too? The rest of this can be donated, but uh, we've got, let's see, 2001. So, I mean, she, from the look of her face, looks like she's probably from like the 2005 era maybe 2003 to 2005 which is really exciting um, i definitely don't have her she doesn't look familiar so i'm really excited about it i'm gonna have to do some research to figure out what uh garments she's supposed to be wearing and uh what set she's from it's gonna be cool well it's also found it's been a little while since you found any brad stalls it's been a minute <laughs> <laughs> well, we were finding Furby and Brad stalls on every other video for a while. For a bit, yeah, and then it just like dried up. Yeah, I then found I, a Furby the other day. Yeah, I found one last week, so. <laughs> I was due. <laughs> yeah, it was your turn. Oh, I'm excited about it. It's really good. The Yasmin doll is my favorite of the, of the dolls, so, because she was my first doll growing up. Right. Sentimental value, but she needs some, uh, she needs some love. <laughs> yeah, she's a little rough. What do you think about her pants? Yeah, I agree. I agree, Pants. Okay, well, <laughs> Pants, do you want to help me open some Pokemon cards? Uh, not very many, and it's almost not going to be worth the money, but I do have a very, 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 very strict uh, no Pokemon left behind rule. There are some hollows, so I guess we'll just check them out real quick. It really looks like it was just a pack of cards some kid got, and uh, I don't know, somehow it got donated. No Charizards. No Charizard's pants, but Pokemon cards at the thrift store. I get them anytime I can. It was a few months ago, last time I found a big stack of them at the Sabres. I haven't got lucky with them in a little while, but you guys comment below and let us know what you've been finding at the thrift store. Uh, and if you wanna go a step further, go join our Discord. There's a link in the video's description. You can come over there and show pictures of what you found, just like the person earlier in the video shared a picture of their antique mall. We'd love to see more of that over on our Discord. Uh, it comes in waves. Anytime we make a video like this one where we go do a lot of antique mall stuff, there'll be a lot of antique mall talk over on our discord our discord is not just for that you can come post pictures of your thrift finds yard sale finds doesn't have to be video games doesn't have to be anything that we're particularly interested in we'd love to see it uh and sometimes there's pokemon shared over on the discord as well it's pretty cool but uh any final thoughts anna pants looks like he's about to duel <laughs> <laughs> pants you want to play pokemon did you just like lay on him he's just sitting right in front of him he's like play me I will destroy you with my hocula. <laughs> well, thanks for participating, Pants. He's the goodest boy. He's being really sweet. I don't understand why. I don't know. That means he's plotting to kill us sooner than we thought. <laughs> he probably just wants us to go to bed at a reasonable hour and stop watching so much Lord of the Rings. Well, we're down to the last Hobbit movie. We've watched the other five movies and uh i'm almost dreading it being over because i've made myself promise i was gonna after this i'm so hooked i think i'm gonna go read all of it oh it's an undertaking it's a real undertaking but uh thanks for hanging out with us guys uh we did make it all our antique malls so i might it may be tomorrow's episode may wait another day but we're gonna go to our other antique mall where we have just as much to restock as we did that second stop today 
Uh, lots of new things getting added to that next booth too. So subscribe if you haven't already so you can get notifications when we go do that other mall and you can see what other new stuff we're putting in that antique mall. And uh, yeah, we'll try to get some more antique mall related content out soon because things have really changed for us with our antique malls because we've made some different decisions. So might as well make some videos explaining some of that to you guys. But uh, thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time. Till then, peace out. What?